Hey, welcome to Money Club Mondays. Uh, today is August 21st, 2023, and summer's in full swing, private money club's in full swing, the economy, the market, everything is just going crazy right now. So what we're going to do today on this show is we're going to bring it all together for you. We're going to talk a little bit about what private money club is, who it's for, what it can do for you, especially in the coming times that we have approaching very, very quickly right now. So with that being said, what is Private Money Club? And at the end of the day, Private Money Club is a platform, a community, a mastermind of like-minded individuals and people that are here for one reason, and that's to solve their money problem. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, do I even have a money problem? Well, or what is that money problem, right? And every single one of us has a different challenge that lies ahead when it comes to money. Some of us on right now might be working a job and just looking for some way to get ahead in life, some way to get past that paycheck to paycheck lifestyle, that rat race. And you know there's something better out there. You just don't exactly know quite how to get there yet, but you're willing to hustle, you're willing to learn, you're willing to listen and make things happen. You know, other, others of us on this call right now might have money. Maybe we've made money in life. Maybe we've put money away into the stock market and smart investments. And we're at a point right now where we're just tired of seeing all of our wealth get eroded away through things like taxes and inflation. And what I believe we're really going to see a lot of in the coming months and years, volatility. And we all know what the volatility is. It's the ups and downs of these markets. You Warren Buffett seems to say things best. He is a very smart individual who's done very, very well in life investing, but he's got a unique ability of just simplifying what he talks about and what he does. And does anybody on here know what Warren Buffett, we talk about it all the time. If you've been following us, you probably know. What are the three rules, put in the chat box, what are the three rules that Warren Buffett says when it comes to investing? What are the three rules? Let's see what, if anybody knows. All right, here we go. So Jordy's got it. Buy low, sell high, and don't lose money. Doesn't that sound like common sense? Then why is it that so many of us struggle with that? Why is it that so many people in the richest country the world has ever known are not able to retire in a lifestyle that they want to? They're not able to retire with financial security. See, as a formal financial advisor, my business partner, Chris Noggle, was a high-level uh, advisor for over 16 years. I was one myself for several years with Ameriprise Financial many, many, many years ago. And what we learned dealing with clients that most people don't understand money. They're very good at what they do, but they fall into the traps of just doing what's always been done and going to this traditional way of investing, things like a 401k and diversifying the stock market. See, not only through personal experience, but also listening and studying things like the Social Security Administration. The Social Security Administration tells us if you take 100 Americans at retirement age, only five out of 100 of those people are going to retire financially secure. That leaves 95% of the United States population at retirement age that are going to struggle or have to go back to work. They're going to have to change their lifestyle. They're going to have to wait longer before they can retire after working their entire lives. And it's a big problem. And so what we've done is we've gone out on a mission to educate, to find, to locate people that want to do better. They know that they can have more. They know they can do more. They know they can be more if they only had somebody that would take them by the hand and show them how it's done. And that, in its essence, is what Private Money Club is, is it brings people together with a common goal, with the idea of a floating boat, rising tides will raise all boats. And that's exactly what we want to do. And that's why Private Money Club is not only just a platform of combining real estate entrepreneurs and private money lenders and people that have money looking for something better, but also it's that mastermind. It's we all work together to achieve a common goal. And it's amazing when you base your life, when you base your business around some common concepts, things like creating win-win situations. See, when we look at Private Money Club, that's exactly what we're doing is we're creating these win-win situations and it allows everybody to achieve what they want to achieve. And I'll give you a quick example of that. So like I said before, all of us on this call might have a different money problem. So let me just give that in simple terms. So on in the chat box right now, if you're on and you're somebody that 
you don't have a lot of money yet. You understand you're at the point in life where you need to go out there and you need to make more money. You need to do something so you can get out of that rat race. You can get out of that paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. Um, if you're somebody like that, just write, I don't know, write hustle. How about hustle? I like the hustlers on. Write hustle in the chat box. If you're somebody that you know you could go out there and you could, let's say, wholesale real estate, or you could flip houses, or you could go out and you could start a business or a side hustle, and you know you could go out there and do something like that, just write hustle in the chat box if you're the kind of the person that you knew if you could just either have the education or have the money to make that happen, you could go out there and do cool things. And then if you're the type of person that has some money and you know that you just want to be smart with your money and you understand that you need that money to not run this volatility, you need that money to consistently and predictably grow for you. And you're looking for opportunities where you can put that money outside of the traditional ways of like the stock market and things like that. Uh, write money in the chat box. If you have money and you're looking for ways to make more money, just write money in there. And so when it comes to private money club, those hustlers on the call, those are going to be what we call active real estate investors, okay? Active real estate entrepreneurs. Uh, because right now, private money club is 99% real estate. And why real estate? As a financial advisor, I saw some anecdotal evidence, I guess you could say, you know, just personal things that I observed as an advisor. But one of those was that all of my high net worth clients, people that I met with that had at least several million dollars uh, net worth, they all owned a lot of real estate. As I started getting and learning how the wealthy make money, and I started studying business owners and entrepreneurs, and I started studying the wealthy, there was one common thing that all of them also had. It was real estate. They all owned real estate. They all used real estate in some way in their financial lives. And as I went out there, I started studying a little bit more about real estate. And I started learning things like McDonald's. As a, We all know McDonald's. It's such a great example. We all know McDonald's. You know, they, you know, you think of McDonald's, you think of Big Macs and Kid Meals. Well, you know what a lot of people don't realize about McDonald's is McDonald's is not in the business of flipping burgers. McDonald's is in the real estate business. What a lot of people don't realize is McDonald's, when they went out there and they started creating their business and their model, part of their model was buying the real estate that the businesses, the McDonald's were located on. And here's where McDonald's was very genius, is they would go into these towns and they would do their studies and they would find where these franchise restaurants should be to maximize and grow their, their, their company. And they... they found these areas and not only did they buy the real estate that the McDonald's sat on, but they would actually buy the entire intersection. And then what they would do is they would build a McDonald's here. And then guess what they would do with the other real estate they owned on the other sides of that intersection. They would lease it out to their competition, Burger King, Wendy's. Why? Because they knew people would come to McDonald's or one of the other competitors anyways, but they made their money in real estate. Another great example, banks. We always talk about becoming the bank. How many of you would love to be your own bank? Well, if you want to be your own bank, you have to mimic what the banks do. And that's exactly what we're doing because banks, and you guys can look this stuff up, but banks put over 90%, nine, zero, 90 percent of what's called their M1 money supply, their investable money. They put it into two different asset classes. Number one, into whole life insurance, which is what we build the infinite banking concept and the money multiplier around to become the bank and create that banking system. And number two is real estate. Think about where banks are. You drive down any suburban, rural area, anywhere in the entire United States of America, and there's a there's a branch office every mile or two. You go in every city in the country. The most beautiful brand new skyscrapers at the top of those buildings are always a bank's name. This is what banks do with their money. They bank their money by lending, making spreads on things like mortgages, and they buy real estate. And that's exactly what the people inside a private money club are doing also. And so when we look at why real estate, it's because if you are a hustler, you need to go make money. You know that you're not going to achieve your financial goals without doing something different in your life. Real estate has created more millionaires and billionaires than any other venture out there. Real estate is one of the easiest businesses that I have ever seen that would allow somebody with very little to none of their own money go out there and actually make money 
and make it pretty quickly, relatively speaking, and then snowball that into more and more and more. Now, is it easy? No. But is it a little bit easier when you have somebody holding your hand that's done it before, that knows the, the pitfalls, that knows the roadblocks, that can show you exactly the path A to Z, how to accomplish it that much quicker? Absolutely. And it happens every single day. I see it happen. Shauna, you see it happen. We talk to people every day that get started in real estate with little to nothing. And all of a sudden, they're crushing it less than a year later. Like It's a beautiful thing. And then we look at the other side of that coin. The other side of the private money club community, those people that have money, they've done well, they have retirement accounts, they're looking to control that money because they know they don't want to ride that stock market crash. They don't want to ride the next volatile economy and market that we're in. They don't want to pop with the bubble that's about to pop. They understand that they bought low over the last 10, 12, 15 years, and now they're ready to realize those gains and sell. I see when I used to teach a lot of real estate investing classes, I would always ask people that were new, I would say in real estate investing, the fundamentals, do you make money in real estate when you buy or when you sell? And I'll ask all of you, do you make money when you buy or when you sell? And you hear it over, oh, you make money when you buy, when you, when you sell. And everyone's like, oh yeah, you, when you sell, right? Well, you realize your profits when you sell, absolutely. But you make the money when you buy. See, it, you could be the best investor. You could be literally somebody that has a, the most beautiful designs and you could go into a house and make it so gorgeous that everybody wants to buy that house. But if you bought the house up here, it's still part of a market. You can never sell above market. That's the beautiful thing about markets is we can understand a market and we know exactly what to do. So all it's all about buying low. If you buy low, then we have room in there and we can sell high. And that's where we make money. I was joking earlier with Shauna, but something that I used to teach too, that's very relevant right now, especially in a market that's changing very quickly, like we're in right now, you have to learn techniques like get in, get out, get paid. Don't lose money. Boom, boom, boom. Like the quicker you can do this stuff. So, so we have, we, we, we're able to do this. We're able to teach you and show you as an active investor. And then as a passive investor, those of you with money, we're going to show you how to lend your money to that hustler, lend your money to that active investor so they can take your money and they can go out there and do this and they can make more money that they can use to pay you. They're making money. You're making money. We're all making money. And that's that win-win situation that I was just talking about. So I just wanted to kind of lay out a little bit about what Private Money Club is as at its essence. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about our community um, because you know it's easy for me to talk about this stuff for hours and hours and days and days. But at the end of the day, again, Private Money Club is about the community and about the mastermind. And so let's just hear from some of the people that are in that community. So I'm gonna share my screen over here. So the PMC community, and this is what it's all about. So we asked a, a few people last week just to kind of give us in their own words a little bit about what PMC means to them and, and what that looks like. So here's a couple examples. So this is Ruth and Ruth's awesome. I've gotten to know her quite well over the last few years at mastermind events that we do at our money tank events that we do through Private Money Club. And remember, Private Money Club is a community. It's a mastermind. Yes, it's an online platform. But it's those relationships that we bring into the real world, whether that's on a Zoom, whether that's on a phone call, or whether that's in person at one of the live events, it's that relationship. So when I get to know people like Ruth and Maureen at the bottom here, it's a, it's a beautiful thing because I can almost hear them saying these comments that they've written. But let me just read it for you. So Ruth is saying, before PMC, working hard in real estate to save money. Investing gingerly in the stock market, yet fearing a stock market bubble crash. To sleep at night, a large amount of my investment dollars were kept in cash, feeling very alone navigating the financial world. After joining PMC, 12 to 14% returns on investments, usually secured by real estate, learning how to legally protect myself and pay less taxes, dreaming about how to help my friends and family benefit from this other, more productive way of working with savings and investments, enjoying the camaraderie of PMC members where everyone is open about what they do to make money. And the result, happiness and peace of mind, allowing Ruth to sleep at night, allowing her not to worry about things like inflation eroding all of that money she worked so hard to get in the first place, allowing her to keep 
more of her money that she worked so hard to get by paying less in taxes, giving her more money to either go make more or maybe donate some to charities of her choosing where she knows it'll really help the people she's donating to. And probably most importantly, not having to lose sleep at night, worrying about a bubble crash and losing everything she's worked so hard to gain. How about Maureen? Maureen, from a civil servant, she was a police officer, uh, to a millionaire, well, almost, but by July of 2024, with her calculations, she should be in the millionaire club. And I don't know if you guys know any police officers or firefighters or even teachers, for that matter, in your lives. I personally come from a family of all of those. A lot of police officers in my family. Um, my wife was a teacher for over 13 years. Um, as well as other family members in the educational field. And so I watched firsthand just how much they give to children, to their communities, to others. They give up their lives basically with the biggest hearts. And they are not, in any cases I've ever seen, really financially rewarded for that. And it's a sad thing. But what is the beautiful thing about America is you can do that and be smart with your money, learn some of these financial strategies that we teach, join things like the private money club, surround yourself where now you're smart so you can still do what you love as a police officer, do what you love as a teacher, but still be able to financially create security and safety for yourself by being very smart with that. Let's see who else we have on here. So this is Eve. Eve Page is a wonderful young lady. She says, step one, the money multiplier gave my household future financial security by having death benefits and compounding interest in a tax-free environment. Step two, the PMC, Private Money Club, taught me what to do with the money. Private Money Club gave me a realistic dream of being able to quit my W-2 job that I'm not passionate about sooner than I otherwise could have. Meeting PMC folks in person has been inspirational. I am inspired by those that came from humble beginnings and are farther along their journey than I am. I enjoy inspiring others that are just starting their journey. People around me were not like-minded prior to meeting this group, so meeting these folks helped me feel normal. Yes, we should normalize out-of-the-box thinking. Question what we were taught. PMC helped me build business-minded friendships that I hope will last for our lifetimes. Friends are family we pick ourselves. And thank you for that, Eve. That's that's such a beautiful thing. I mean, how many of you in your life have ever tried something different? Maybe you did get into real estate investing, or maybe you went out and you started a new business, or even maybe you got into like network marketing or, or something like that, direct sales, where you thought you could go out there and help others. But along that journey of becoming an, uh, getting into real estate or starting a business, you had a lot of excitement. So you wanted to go tell other people about it. And you told your friends or you told your family members. And what happened? Were they excited for you also? Did they like get behind you and they're like, well, yeah, this is awesome. Like, go do it. Or were they like, what makes you think you can be a real estate investor and be like those people on TV? What makes you think you could own a business? You don't have any money to do something like that. Were they negative? And that happens for so many people. And it, it, it really breaks my heart because I see it happen with spouses all the time or with parents or kids. And it just, it, it's, it's so sad because if we can't, if we can't get, you know, positive reinforcement, if we can't get encouragement and belief from the people close to us in life, you know, it's very deflating and it can, it can make us kind of just get back into that rut and, and just have that negative mindset. I mean, mindset is so very important. And back to the community of private money club it's one of the beautiful things is like she says at the bottom, friends or family, we pick ourselves so we can create that environment around ourselves through things like PMC, which is just unbelievable. Mark Perry um, out in Hawaii. And, you know, we've obviously been thinking a lot about Mark. He's on Oahu. Um, so not as affected, you know, as, as Maui out there, but just unbelievable. It's just amazing how quickly something like that can happen. You know, Mark says PMC has helped me develop a close and meaningful relationship with a beautiful family and trustworthy business owners. Rob and Nicole Fuller have been a large part of my PMC journey. 
So Mark is talking about a, a relationship he built with some developers. These are Private Money Club premier members inside of the community. And uh, Robin Nicole, Nicole Fuller, a beautiful for family out in uh, the Salt Lake City area of Utah, beautiful children. And um, they have a business uh, where they do real estate development. And, you know, a lot of the investors that have lended money to Rob and Nicole over the last couple of years, they've kind of make them feel like family. It's it's amazing how all of that comes together um, by meeting at events and on webinars and in person and, and just building those relationships. And then Tess uh, is one of my favorite human beings I think in the world, but Tess says PMC has helped me to elevate all areas of my life surrounding money. And keep in mind, Tess was a, a an accountant and, and dealt with money daily in her prior life. But PMC has helped me to evaluate all areas of my life surrounding money, learning to utilize IBC policies, retirement funds, and a HELOC. So Tess is using BYOB, building a banking system with the infinite banking concept and the specially designed whole life policies. She's controlling her wealth that way. She's also controlling her retirement dollars, her retirement funds through self-directed investing, which we could talk about, but a very important source of money that you can control and put out there to make more money. And again, predictable, consistent returns instead of riding that volatile stock market and tapping into a HELOC. We've all seen a large increase appreciation in home values over the last several years. So a lot of people have equity built up in their homes. Well, what if we tap into that equity, use that equity to go make more money, unlike the 95%. See, 95% that are never financially successful, what do they do with the equity in their homes? Well, they might pull it out and spend it, go on a vacation, go to Vegas, maybe do some home remodels and then have to pay that back for years and years and years and years. But people that are financially educated, that are looking to set themselves to a financial secure position, well, they're going to use that equity that we all have now in our homes. But what are they going to do with that equity? They're going to use that equity to make more money. See, I can take that, Tess can take that equity. She can lend it, for example, to Rob and Nicole Fuller, and she's now going to make a spread. If she's paying 8% on a HELOC, and she's lending it at 14% to Robin Nicole, what's the math on that? That's a 6% spread. Well, 6% at $200,000 is 12 grand a year. She now has coming in just by being smart and tapping into some equity. So Tess is learning how to be smart with the resources and the money she already has available to her. She then says, prior to joining this campfire, I didn't think I had options. I didn't think I even belonged around this crew. PMZ provided me options to learn and gain the confidence to jump into the ring, so to speak. What happened? A lucid dream to live and work in ways that masked my heart and mind started to come together. PMC let me take control of my money and start building a work life closer to my heart. It takes work, but it can be some of the greatest work of your life. I'm so grateful. And we're grateful for you, Tess. Your real estate business lives and dies by the network and the connections that you make. I mean, after all, your network, well, it's your net worth. That's what you always heard, right? If that's an area where you desire improvement, well, Private Money Club, it's for you. PMC saves you precious time and money by bringing the real estate world, well, right to you, right in the palm of your hand. So get in on the action like so many others have by going to privatemoneyclub.com and sign up. See, PMC, what we've done is we've learned over the last several years. We started out with a beta version of Private Money Club, where that was just, and really before that, it was Chris Noggle and myself sitting at a bar one day. Chris and I were sitting at a bar back in 2019, and Chris pulls out a, a napkin like all great ideas, I feel like, right? Starts on a bar napkin. So he starts drawing a circle on this napkin and he draws a line down the middle of the circle. And he goes, you know what, Steve? And he goes, as I've been on my financial journey from being a, a high level financial advisor for 16 years to real estate entrepreneur to America's number one money mentor, he said along his journey, he realized that there's a lot of need in the in the in, in the industry for reliable places to meet other people 
without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars to attend in-person masterminds, without having to go to every single local RIA meetup meeting in the state and spend days and days and days traveling, all this stuff. He goes, there's really a need for just one place where people with the same goals can meet and make magic happen. And I was like, that makes sense, but like be a little bit more specific. So he started drawing it out on one side of the coin. He wrote over here, borrowers. And those are those real estate entrepreneurs, those hustlers. I mentioned those active real estate investors that started doing some wholesaling probably, and then got into flipping. And then they realized, well, if I'm going to flip more houses, what do you need? Well, you need more money. And at some point, banks either take too long or they max you out on what they'll lend you, or they're just not really, the banks are just a pain in the butt to work with, honestly, as a real estate investor. So where do we find that money? And a lot of big, hard money lenders started popping up all over the place. And hard money lenders are really, at the end of the day, very similar to banks. Sure, it's it's more hedge fund money and it's individuals' money that you know a company is taking in most cases and they're making the decisions, but there's usually still guidelines. They'll only lend to you within certain criteria, certain terms. It's not really negotiable. It's either a yes or a no. So it's a little quicker than banks. They might let you leverage a little bit more than banks, but they're still very strict. So how do you find that true private money? And Chris goes, okay, so if we have one side of the coin that has these borrowers, people that all they need is more money so they can go out there and make more money so they can do more deals. Well, on the other side of the coin then would then be people that have money. And they don't want to just give it to a financial advisor or a hard money company to lend for them. They want to control that money and they want to make the decisions and they don't want a middleman. They want to go direct to that borrower, that real estate investor, and they want to lend the money, but they don't want to just give them money. You see, they don't want to just say, Hey, Shauna, like you need money. Like here it is. Will you pay me back next year or whatever? No, 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 no. They want to do it just like the banks do it. They want to lend money with all the securities, with everything that a bank would do. So things like a mortgage or a deed of trust, depending on what state you're in, things like a promissory note that outline the terms of that deal. So now what we can do is we know exactly what that lender is going to pay, what that borrower is going to pay to the lender, what frequency, when it's going to be paid back. Everything is set up up front. There's no questions about it. And the mortgage or deed of trust then secures that property, in most cases, in a first lien position or a second lien position, depending on the deal, just like a bank would do, that gives you full rights to foreclose or take that property over or get the title handed to you, depending on how it's constructed, um, if something goes wrong with that promissory note, with the terms of that deal, just like a bank does. And so at the end of the day, we were able to have this circle here with the borrowers on one side, the lenders on the other side. And I said, okay, Chris, well, if we bring people together, what I found is that most people don't know how to put that deal together. Like they don't know how to do the mortgage. They don't know how to underwrite the deal. You know, the borrowers, they're really good at flipping houses, finding deals, rehabbing them, flipping the deal, making money on the real estate, but they don't know how to ask for the money. They don't know how to put like contracts together and stuff. They just know they need more money. So Chris goes, well, I know that, but that's what the middle of the coin is for. So in this circle, we have the borrowers, we have the lenders, and then we have the middle. If you take a coin, I don't know if I have a coin right now, but if you take a guitar pick, even a guitar pick, you have the outside corner. There's still an edge around that coin. And that's where the magic of Private Money Club happens because not only is that where the borrowers and lenders meet, but that's where the education, that's where we can hold your hand and teach you, whether you're a borrower or a lender, how all of this works, how all of this comes together and how to protect yourself every single time. And at the end of the day, that's probably the most important part of Private Money Club is that protection because we work, we all work very, very hard for our money whether you're out there hustling or whether you've already made money in life and you're just looking to be smart to make more money, we want to be safe with that. So we want to do everything possible to eliminate the wealth killers, reduce taxes that we're paying on either side of the coin, that we want to reduce risk no matter which side of the coin. So how do we do that? And that's exactly what we've been able to accomplish with Private Money Club. We've been able to go out there and we've been able to, over the last 
year or so now. See, I, I mentioned before, this started with Chris and I at a bar talking about the idea for Private Money Club on a napkin. And then what we did is we launched uh, just a little plain, simple website that was known as Private Money Club Beta. Some of you on right now might have been part of Private Money Club Beta. And then we learned from that. How does that look? How are people going to interact? What do they actually need to make these deals happen? And we took that and then we developed Private Money Club 1.0. And then we tested that for many, many, many months. What works? What doesn't work? What more is needed? And then we launched this last October, Private Money Club 2.0, which is what we have today, which is a beautiful platform on privatemoneyclub.com that provides everything that I just talked about an area where you can post your deals and the people with money can go on and they can browse those deals and they can look at things like the perfect loan proposal and they can look at appraisals and they can look at the terms and the deal spec sheet and everything you need to know to underwrite that deal. Who is this person and who is this deal I'm lending to? And then to provide you the tools needed, evaluation tools, things like templates, examples of things like promissory notes and mortgages and deeds of trust. And so we provide these tools on there. And so there's different, there's a public forum where people can go on and chat with each other. When you find a deal that you want to lend on, you can connect through private messaging and you can start working out the terms of that deal and you can enter into a checklist. Okay, what needs to be done next? Okay, we need to get the promissory note signed. Okay, what needs to be done next? We need to be added as additional insured on the insurance policy. Okay, what's next? We need to wire the money to the escrow company. We need to verify it's a correct LLC we're sending to. Okay, what's next? The deal closed. We need to make sure that it's recorded at the courthouse. So we're all protected on this deal, just like a bank would do. So we have a checklist on there. Okay, this person's brand new on Private Money Club. They don't know what the heck I'm talking about. All right, well, we created a coaching for that. So and through Private Money Club 2.0, we've really been able to learn not only what people need and implement it into this point, but also how we can hold your hand and take you into small little groups and teach you step by step exactly what you need to do to lend, to borrow, or to be an active real estate investor. And so I want to talk a little bit about that now, kind of what those options and what those offers look like. One of the things, other things, the events, right, Shauna? Yeah, I, I um, sent out like a survey uh, for some feedback from the most recent in-person event. Uh, it was totally anonymous too. So it was nice to help us get some insight there. Yeah. So just to kind of, you know, just to kind of go through that real fast, you know, one of the ways that we've been able to bring people together and I'll, I'll get into some of the different coaching ways we can help in a second, but one of my favorite things are live events. Like I said before, thank goodness for the power of Zoom and being able to do this on a daily basis and meet with people. Um, it really is. It's it just, it's mind blowing the technology this day and age. So thank goodness. But there's also nothing like being in a room with somebody. And even more important than that, in a room with 100, 150 people that all have one common goal, just like you do. There's just, there's some kind of energy there. Like there's, there's I don't think there's a way to duplicate it. Maybe in the future when they come out with Neuralink and all this crazy VR stuff and everything. But until then, like we still got to get around each other. And so something else that we do with Private Money Club is we do whole live in-person events. Right now, those are called Money Tank events. The next one's going to be in the spring of 2024 out in Utah. Um, and then we have Money Tank local pop-ups that are going to start, you'll start seeing later this year. Um, so we do have these in-person events too that you're going to be able to take on. So this was just some feedback from the last one that we had, just so you can hear a little bit more. So question one, in your own words, who is this event for? They said real estate investors who want to expand their knowledge. Q2, describe the quality of speakers and topics shared at the Money Tank Raleigh event and did they meet expectations? Uh, answer, yes, I was educated and felt the speakers did a great job. Q3, describe the quality of the other attendees at the Money uh, Tank Rally event. I made connections that have the potential of turning into something mutually beneficial. So exactly, you go there, you learn, you meet other people, and you make business happen. I mean, it's just wham, bam, thank you, man. It's a beautiful thing. Here's somebody else, Q1. In your own words, who is this event for? I think this event is for everyone that is interested in learning how to take back control of their money. There are many tools shared so that you can create a plan that allows you to find the path that makes sense for your financial future. Describe the quality of speakers and topics. The quality and range of speakers was amazing. There was something for everyone, whether you're new or a seasoned student. 
Describe the quality of the other attendees. Amazing. The event included lots of opportunities to reconnect with old friends and to begin creating relationships with new friends. The attendees were very new to this arena and those that had experience to share with new friends. A great mix of people, wonderful event. And I agree with that, Sean. I feel like there was a, a really good mixture of people that were there that had a lot of experience. And what I loved about it was they were like, encouraging new people to come like hang out with them like hey let's go grab drinks let's go grab dinner like they've really experienced people are like getting other like the new people around them which you know it was probably for a reason i think the experienced people had you know knew what they were doing so they knew they were trying to build those relationships and the new people were probably like oh this person's giving me all this free information and free knowledge little they know hey they want their money or they want to you know they want to they want to lend their money to them but um hey when you can when you can mix it together it's a beautiful thing right so I wanted to reach out and say thank you for an incredible two days in Raleigh. The opportunity to network and converse with successful entrepreneurs was invaluable to my future goals. In addition, I appreciate Chris sharing his story and the path he has taken to accomplish so much in the private equity space. He showed so much passion for what you, for what you and Chris are doing to help me and others become financially independent, which by the way, Chris actually got on a chair and jumped off the thing. He leapt off of it. It was crazy. But anyway, you got to be there next time to see that one. All right. Your commitment has been a life-changing strategy in my life. And I look forward to diving into PMC to helping me accomplish my goals. I have started to look at my assets differently and how I can use what I have to make changes. In addition, can you provide me with the information on Horizon? So earlier, controlling your retirement dollars, they're saying, you know, not only did they learn at the event, but they're saying, I'm ready to take action and implement it. So they want to get connected with one of our strategic partners, Horizon Trust, which is a self-directed custodian. And then they said, thank you so much again um, and for allowing me to bring my son. He's so excited to get his first policy started, which I love that part. I love helping younger people. And I remember this young lady, she, um, her son uh, is in the military out at Fort Bragg, right? Fort Bragg is the one that's in North Carolina there. But anyway, he was right there. So she made a whole trip out of it. And he came to the event. We actually let him come um, for free just because we love military people. And, and thank you for all you do. So they had an unbelievable time. Super cool people. She said, I hope that I will be reaching out to you next year with all my success stories and the current investments I have in my portfolio. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions or want any more comments from the Money Tank Conference. So Christy, I love that one. All right, one more. The speakers all bring different opportunities and values from no money creative financing to purchasing businesses and doing it all virtually tax-free, all amazing, very wonderful people, all engaged and wanting to learn new ideas, wanting to get started or have money to invest, uh, setting up your LLC. Uh, one takeaway, the most important thing you can do, and it's the last thing I had really thought about, hey, learn something, implement and take action. Q5, what's one thing that you would like to see improved? I don't think it's necessarily something that I can be improved, but the new information opportunities are almost too much to take in. And then the next speaker has even more. Your brain can go into a fog. I thought it was pretty well done. And well, it was well. So we, we, we sometimes do get a little too much information, but the beautiful thing about that is we have a team that will help you with that. So if you feel overwhelmed, like where do I start? Which strategy is right for me? How do I implement this? We've created our BYOB Blueprint Specialists, and that's exactly what they're there for, to talk with you about what you have going on now, what your past has looked like, what you're good at, what you're trying to accomplish, what are your goals, and then what we can do is we can guide you exactly how Private Money Club can help you uh, achieve that whether it's through one of our coaching programs, whether it's through one of our strategic partnerships like Horizon Trust, uh, we can walk you through exactly what is right for you. So if you feel overwhelmed, even for what I'm talking about right now today, or if you're at one of our events or something like that in the past, definitely schedule that call. Mm -hmm. um, schedule a call with our BYOB Blueprint Specialist. And that's literally why they're there. And they're uh, great guys. We have Jose, um, Jose, Joel, and Don. Um, are our three primary BYOB specialists right now. I've known all three of them for 
oh, well over a decade now, probably 12, 14 years. I've done business with all of them in the past and they're all stand up amazing guys. Um, we also have a young lady that helps uh, part-time. Her name is Sarah. I've known her probably seven or eight years. She's also awesome at what she does, but she's got a lot of her own things going on right now. So, so she's kind of, you might talk with her, but it's, it's a little more part-time right now. Mm -hmm. All right, I know I've been talking a lot, Shauna. Do we have any comments, questions, anything we can hit? No, th no, this is great. Um, especially for anybody who's new, I definitely want to point out that the, you know, the brain fog is real. Like even if you start to learn about a new diet or anything that like, once you start to go healthy or wealthy, there is so many options out there. So just try to stick it out and just stay with us week after week. And then, um, if we want to get into some deals, I know that, um, Chuck has a deal just while we have like the last 12 minutes of this call, we can kind of show a real, a real life example of what uh private money club is all about or who's in it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then, so I'm going to bring Chuck, uh, let me see, Chuck, I'm going to bring you over to panelist while he's scooting over. Let me just mention one last thing. So through the private money club, um, like I mentioned before, the platform is the online part. That's beautiful because it allows you to meet people like Chuck the Fuller, so many great borrowers that come on every week, Money Club Mondays, attend all our events. Um, you know, you can do everything on the platform. There's all the resources. We have a blog. We do education on there. We have a two-hour coaching. You know, that's all part of that premier membership. Uh, but just know that if you do need more help, and, and Chuck, maybe you can briefly speak to this too. I believe you went through the accelerator coaching, but also just do understand we do have coaching programs that are literally built to hold your hand and show you how the pros do it, how the experts do it. So if you're looking to lend or you're looking to borrow, or you just don't know really like what the contracts look like, how to underwrite deals, you know, what to ask, uh, what to look for. That's what our accelerator coaching program is for. If you're looking to be an active investor and really go out there and you want to learn more about how marketing works and wholesaling and how to like go out in the field and find deals and put them together and negotiate, we have what's called our performance coaching bus tour. It's actually a two day in-person event with some training on the outside edges as well. Um, like I mentioned a minute ago, we have our money tank um, live events. And then if you're somebody that's looking to really kind of knock out some deals quick and you're living in an area that has a lot of mobile homes, uh, we have an unbelievable a trainer. Her name's Christy. She not only coaches how to flip mobile homes, which if you're in real estate at all, you've got to learn this strategy, but not only does she teach how to flip mobile homes, but she flips mobile homes herself. So if you're a lender that has like smaller amounts of money, but you still want to be in a first position, you got to learn how to flip, how to lend on mobile home flips. It's like, it opens up a whole new world of, of lending on real estate that most people don't even know you can do. And Christy's one of the top experts in the entire country that teaches this stuff. So she's part of the private money club family and would love to work with you. So the last thing I just wanted to mention was we have different coaching programs, depending on what help you need. It's not by any means a one you know, one shop fit all type approach. It's literally, what do you need? Let's get you in that. And we'll help you with that specific thing. And then we'll go from there with it. So that's what that blueprint team is really good at as well as helping you identify where you are. So we know how we can best help you. So get that call scheduled. Um, and then, like I said, we wanted to bring Chuck on here. He said he had a deal available. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to learn right along with you guys, but what's up, Chuck? Good to see you, man. Hey, Steven. Good to see you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit before you get into the deal, if you don't mind, just what's your experience with Private Money Club been? I know you've been around for a while now, but like, you know, you've been around for a while, I know. And then you, I think you went through the coaching, right? And what was your experience with that maybe? And then tell us what you got today, please. Yeah, um, I've been Private Money Club for going on my second year. I have borrowed twice from Private Money Club and also lent out through some connections, including the Fullers and Dwight Harrison. Um, I went to the Money Tank event in Salt Lake City. I kind of uh, said I couldn't make it to Raleigh, too much was going on. And yeah, I just recently finished doing the coaching program, the 12 week coaching program with Mike and Mike. And that was super um, insightful. Just, and I think the best thing with that coaching was the Q and A's they had on Thursdays, where I could just pick their brain with actual real estate questions and got a lot of like tips and tricks and like ways to be a better real estate investor. Um, currently I'm investing mostly in Buffalo. I have 20 doors. Just recently finished on um, that last private money club deal, end of July, and have another one. Um, I haven't currently posted on the public forum just because um, I'm not able to post um, in New York um, for the actual deal page. But basically, it's a single family house. I'm looking to borrow um, 140000 I have the property under contract for 90000 It's a four bedroom, two bath house. 
It needs um, a lot of TLC on the inside, um, a kitchen gut, a bathroom gut, um, flooring throughout, paint, and then a roof repair. Um, the ARV for the property is um, 205,000. Um, all my estimates for construction are on the high side. And I got most of those numbers actually going through um, talking with um, Mike and Mike during the program to kind of really fine tune um, all the, the renovation expenses. And then um, in that number is also a 15% contingency for that rehab scope. So all my numbers are super, super conservative. So we're looking to be all in for this at about um, 155,000. Um, I'm offering 15% um, interest paid monthly um, for a first lien position. I'm looking to do this project in about six to eight months from estimates from my contractors. Um, and if anyone has questions for anything, um, on the forum, I have my cell phone and email. I check all those super frequently um, if you want to get connected and get any more from the deal. And I also have the property lead sheet attached on the public forum. So 155,000, six to eight months expected, 15% annual. So he said, yeah, very good. I mean, so just kind of simply put, I mean, how many of you would love for your money to grow consistently, predictably? at 15% annual return over the next six to eight months, knowing it's secured and backed by real estate that's worth more than what you're lending. And Chuck, what's your experience? Um, I've been uh, investing in real estate for about seven years. Um, I've been actively investing the last two where I left my W2 job and just been doing this full-time, property managing, overseeing rehabs, um, I'm currently renovating um, three vacant apartments right now and leasing them out. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing this every day. Love it, man. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're lending to someone that has experience. He's been around the campfire. He's gone through the coachings. He's doing it and, and full time. I mean, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, here's a question. Are you, are you willing to bring in a couple different investors? Or would you? Yeah, want to um, actually, in the last two deals I've done on Private Money Club, on um, the first deal, I had four investors broken up um, between 10,000 and I think 40,000 investment. And the last one was split up between two um, for about 35 and 125. So I would take a minimum of a $10,000 investment and I'm more than willing to break it up um, between multiple investors. Yeah, that's so cool too. I mean, you hear so many people that keep them away from private money lending because they're like, well, I don't have $155,000. So how am I going to do this? Like, what is, you know, this isn't for me, right? Well, wrong. I mean, so not in all states and not in all cases can this be done, but um, in certain situations, and Chuck is able to do this, he's done in the past and has good attorneys that have drawn up the, the, the paperwork. Um, he's able to take money from several different investors and combine that money where they're all in a first lien position and secure it on the property. And so um, by doing that, you know, for as little as $10,000, you now can get in this deal. Um, so, I mean, how many of you have an old 401k or an IRA sitting around with 10, 12, 14, 15, $18,000 in it? I bet a lot of you, I talk to people literally every single day that have these old 401ks or IRAs with less than 20 grand into them. And, you know, a lot of times they're like, well, what do I do with this? Like, there's nothing I can invest in. Well, here's the perfect deal right here. You move it over to a self-directed IRA. You lend it to Chuck and, and boom, now you're growing your money at 15% instead of letting it lose to inflation sitting there in cash. Such a beautiful thing. Yeah, and I just want to point out that that's super great that you're like willing to do that, Chuck, because the, what that means though is like for that first deal is like you had to do you had to do four times the paperwork, four times the checks every time. Like like every time you bring on another investor, it's a little bit more work for you. And so I just want to give you you know the kudos and and let everybody else know that you know it's it's just really awesome that you're willing to do that you know to get the deal done and by any means you know. Um, and then someone just asked how to contact Chuck. So if you scroll, he's got his email and his phone number in there too. What are the documents that you're using to secure that deal, Chuck, just if somebody's new on here? Yeah, so um, basically all based on the documents that are provided through Private Money Club, um, there is um, a note and a mortgage securing everything um, that breaks down the payments. Um, if anyone's interested, I can share um, copies of the previous um, deals just to have an idea of basically how things are broken down. I know Michelle and Vin had a question about um, 
basically everyone's in first lien position. Um, basically, it's proportional on the amount paid, uh, but everyone is listed um, on the note and mortgage in first lien position. Yeah, just, just Michelle, then it's, that's not possible in all states and, and municipalities, but I know that Chuck has worked with, you know, done this the right way. So um, he, he knows. Yeah, we're in New York here. <laughs> Right. Right. The one good thing about investing in New York is that um, possibility. Not a lot of other good reasons. <laughs> no, doesn't sound like it. <laughs> yeah. What about Helen was saying? How when, how soon do you need the money? Um. Yeah, we're looking to close by mid September, but that date is pretty flexible. I'm buying it from uh, another local investor I'm close with. Um. But pro we're projecting um, mid September. All right. Awesome. Well, you guys get a hold of Chuck. Um. You know, even if. You, you, maybe you like what he's doing. You don't have money on this deal. I always encourage still reach out, say hello, introduce yourself as a lender and put each other in the Rolodex. Now you have the next deal pops up or you get money coming in later on. You guys contact each other. Hey, Chuck, you got another deal or hey, I just got another deal. You got money yet? And, and boom. And that's how you start building up your pipeline. So whenever you do have new opportunities or money sitting around, you have an endless supplies through those relationships. So I always encourage even starting right now, start building those relationships. I promise you, I know Chuck well enough that I don't think he would mind if you didn't quite have the money yet. He wouldn't mind still chatting with you, right, Chuck? Oh yeah, definitely. Feel free to reach out. I love talking to people about real estate. Um, usually I'm closing down the real estate meetups um, in Buffalo, including the, the money take pop-up ones um, at, at the headquarters. <laughs> You're the kind of guy at the end, I'm like, listen, you don't got to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a hard out today at two o'clock. So Chuck, I really appreciate you coming on. Let's see if we can get his deal funded. I'd love to hear next Monday. Uh, if you hop on, Chuck, let me know if you were able to get it funded from today's. Um, if not, we'll send this recording out. Wednesday or Thursday, and we'll blast it out on email. People will see it. You'll probably have people reaching out to you, Chuck. So I'm going to say it at 716-983-7884, or just go on privatemoneyclub.com, and uh, Chuck's right on there. You can find him. You said uh, it's on the um, on the forum, and yep. you can search for Chuck and, and private message him within there. And, and I was going to give you his email too, but I don't think I can uh, – say that last name and you understand it anyway. So send them a text or give them a call. We'll see you guys next Monday. Uh, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks, Shauna. See you soon.